Okay. Oh, it's orange. Oh, what is this? Orange. Good orange color. <laughs> Good morning. Welcome back to my channel. It is Monday, Martin Luther King Jr. Day. Also known as a civil rights day in some states. I kind of like Civil Rights Day because it covers everything, which is good, but we'll go with what we got. Um, but anyway, I am popping in today to do um, vlogging our day. I'm home with the kids today. Um, Killian and Nolan, Marina's at school. And um, we're just hanging out. It is a very cold day. It's about negative one this morning. And it snowed. You may have seen my snowed in video if you didn't. Check it out here. Um, and then it's um, pretty snowy out and yucky out <laughs> and cold out I don't have to leave until this evening um, so I'm home in the day I took the day off of work to be home with the kids and then um, I do work um, Killian what are you doing honey he's like dropping all the crayons on the floor um, but anyway I am um, teaching a class tonight at 7 um, but that's all I have on my schedule today besides hanging out with the kids so kind of a nice chill day um, to do stuff. All right, so just checking in with you partway through the day. Killian's chilling out. We've been doing some playing in the playroom, which is nice. The playroom's a little cold because um, it's a it's a sunroom that we just converted into a play area off the living room. So it ends up really chilly with the outside air, especially since it's only gone up to two degrees today, um, and this might be our high today. <laughs> so. Um, it's just kind of tough. But anyway, um, I did a little bit of tidying up, but didn't get to all the cleaning. So you can see it's like a little tidied up from what it was. Um, so it was like a total mess. All the stuff was here. Um, and I vacuumed and stuff like that. And you see, but as you can see from this table, like I've got so much stuff to go through and figure out where it's going to go. It just is a overwhelming activity for me today. <laughs> And since I'm watching the boys, I know I can't get like dedicated time to like going through each piece, which I usually like to do. I don't like to just go through it like crazy like. But kind of nice to get to like the top of this table um, and just kind of clean up the top of the table. So maybe I'll just do that today um, and um, see where that leads. I think a lot of the stuff that's on, that's on top of the table I want to keep though. So it's kind of one of those things that's like, uh, but the larger items I don't know what to do with too. <laughs> so I don't know, we'll see. I think if I start looking through, I'll realize which things I want and what I don't. Really, if the kids are playing with it, we're keeping it. If they're not playing with it, they need to go. So it's lunch time. Um, I wanted to show you this for any of the mamas out there who have a toddler who can't have dairy. Um, Killian still doesn't tolerate dairy very well. So I'll give you a couple of options here. So I'm making a grilled cheese. Um, I just bought this like Panera um, bread bread. It's a baker's oats bread. So it has a lot of good stuff in there. And then I use, I don't know how it's pronounced. I think it's Daya um, or I don't know. So I'll say Daya. <laughs> and the cheddar style shreds are really good. Also, if you can find, I wasn't able to find it at my local store. Um, but if you are able to find um, the slices, those are really good as well it tastes like pretty much like cheddar and then we have earth balance we get the soy free earth balance and I use the earth balance for like everything so these things combined make a really delicious grilled cheese for Killian and he enjoys it and then he's able to have some cheese as well so Nolan and I are now I'm freezing by the way as you can see Nolan and I are watching House sitting horror stories. Real creepy. Killian's playing pool in the other room. And Nolan is. Dad said he's going to be leaving a little after 3. About 2 30. So he'll probably be here in about like an hour. I was like filming Stop. myself eating. Stop doing that. Hello, so it is Tuesday morning and I realized like the rest of the afternoon we hung out and played and um, made dinner 
and then I went and taught a couple classes and then came back home late and then just headed right to bed. <laughs> so I completely forgot to sign off and say goodbye to everybody. So just wanted to say goodbye. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. And um, as always, pop in once a week. I try to give you what's going on here, some valuable content, and I hope you have a great week. Thank you so much. Namaste. Hello and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I am fresh faced today, so don't be too scared. Um, but it is Saturday morning and I'm finally getting around to cleaning out Vortex's cage. So I have to show you that. Something we have to do about once a month. Um, I have elapsed on that, so it's a pretty dirty cage, but just trying to get him together and get him, um, we have to put him in a separate box and making sure that there's a heater nearby so he's okay. Um, I'm in my son's room right now, so you may not have seen this room before, but here it is. This room is um, definitely on my list to tidy up and clean up. <laughs> and um, then we are gonna be working from here, getting him going. So the supplies that I have, and I'll show you these. I have a new substrate, so that's the rug that goes underneath for him. <laughs> I have a couple of gloves here to protect my hands, um, vinegar and water solution to wash everything out, paper towel, and a couple of plastic bags so that I can um, put some of the grosser stuff in the plastic bags to throw out. So lizards carry some diseases, so that's one of the reasons why, and they're bacterial diseases that we don't nef definitely don't want to get because we'll like be super sick. Um, so that's like salmonella or something like that. So the gloves are really important. Um, so if I'm kind of, cause I'm coming in contact with like poop and stuff like that, that I don't get out on my hands. And then I'll also like wash my hands and everything. As you can see, I haven't showered yet because I'll shower right afterwards. So I don't transfer anything that's on me out into the world. So let's get started. So I'm getting started by getting Vortex to a place where he is comfortable for about half an hour or so while I clean up. So I'm starting to put some of his stuff in the solution as I pull out. He's still in here for right now. I'm just trying to keep him as warm as for as long as possible. And with his water dish, I'll just replace that. It's like he's been in there. in the vinegar solution first and then I start pulling up the substrate Oop, we have a live insect in here still <laughs> the substrate full of poop and stuff so it's going right into the bag and get that and so I am cleaning out the bottom of the floor here and the oops I meant to take these off as well around in there. 
there, but she's okay. As soon as I put the substrate on, I can put them back in here. I'm more worried about him keeping warm. Other, uh, otherwise, I would just leave him in there until I completely cleaned everything out. But because uh, I'll put the substrate in, and then I'll put his water dish and food dish in. And then I'll put him back in so he can keep warm under the heater. So as you can see, we use the cleaner to clean all of the inside of the cage as well. I'll clean the outside as well because sometimes you get fingerprints on it. in there too. So then we get the substrate out. Oops, I forgot my scissors. I'm going to get some scissors so I can cut this. So I have a substrate. It usually comes at about for a 50 gallon tank. So we have to cut it so that it fits the 40 gallon tank. So I'm going to Lay the substrate down, back down in. I usually have a gap here at the back, so I will Okay, so I cleaned everything out. So I just to go ahead and clean everything out. Got fresh water in there. <clears throat> have everything raring to go, and I'm gonna put him back in there so he can be feeling good. And then I'll clean the stuff up that I have and then wipe down surfaces and stuff like that. So let's get them back in. It's got a really nice clean environment. I'll show you it before I put them in so you can see everything's super clean now. I clean everything with vinegar and water because it's very safe and um, friendly for him. Um, so it really helps. Let's see how it is. He was pretty feisty in there, so I have to be really careful with him. But here he is. He's all set. He's checking out his, his oh, sorry, honey. His new environment. I'm going to put this on in case he decides to jump or get kind of weird here. <clears throat> I'll show you him in there. Just hanging out in his environment now. <laughs> all super clean. He's probably like, whoa, thank you. It looks lovely. So there it is. All clean. I'm going to go take a shower now so I can get clean. Hello, so it is Sunday morning and um, didn't really record anything yesterday except for the morning with Vortex. Um, so that's where we are. Um, I'm just having lighting issues all around, I guess. Um, anyway, so we're having some breakfast this morning um, and it's like 8 a.m. and Killian is watching a show, finishing up my breakfast. Nolan is still sleeping. Um, so he was up late watching a movie, so um, he's doing all of that. And I have a friend with me. Check him out. It's Russell. Russell doesn't get too much time on the screen, the big screen. So we'll give him some time on the big screen, right Russell? You want some time on the big screen? Yeah. Let's see hello to everybody. Yeah. Hello, so I'm making pizza for dinner tonight. Um, it's a busy day. I worked, I um, talked two classes 
and for some reason after class I was just like really tired um, just kind of like drained um, I'm not sure why but when I got home Killian was asleep and the guys went out to go shopping so I just sat um, I laid down actually and watched a little bit more of a movie I'm watching the disaster artist I don't know if anyone else has seen that um, it's interesting especially if you were ever interested in getting into Hollywood I know when I was younger I was interested in getting into Hollywood um, and so it just it's, it's an interesting film in that respect so if you're ever like want to see some of the the scenes and what it takes to build a movie I mean really it just takes money <laughs> so, but anyway um doesn't really take that talent no, I'm just kidding for all you movie stars out there you're awesome love you um but anyway so um yeah it's an interesting film but anyway I haven't finished it Killian woke up we snuggled and did some Instagram and oh yeah and now I am making some pizza so I'm actually I got like a real pizza dough this time um so I'm letting the pizza dough warm up while the oven warms up as well and then I just, I'm doing cheese, just like plain cheese pizzas. So I have like a blend of different cheeses. And then I think I showed you guys this the last time. Um, Daya or Daya, whatever it's called. Daya has um, these cheddar um, shreds. So I'm going to put the cheddar shreds on Killian's side of the pizza. Um, and see if he likes that. And then we'll go from there. Um, yeah, so just waiting for the guys to come home. Um, Killian's watching a show. Got this guy with me. He needs a haircut can't see can't see I bet can you can you see are you making your debut you're making your debut what did you do Nico so this is Nico the boys don't really get on my channel too much um anyway this is Nico Russell's like scrunching around but anyway as you can tell he's just like a little dark anyway, so that's what's going on um after Killian goes to bed later tonight I'm going to be doing the edits for this film so I usually do my editing on Sunday nights um and then I plan my class schedule too on Sunday nights um so it makes for a long weekend or a long week but I have had some time to rest um in between stuff so like I can't complain let's just say that much Anyway, I'm finishing up for the night. <sighs> I'm gonna edit this in a little bit, and Kellyanne's gonna go to bed in a little bit too. It's like seven o'clock. He's gonna be going into um, his tubby in uh, probably around 7:30, and then I'll have him head to bed. Let's see what's going on here. <sighs> yeah, it's still wet from the morning. See. So if I put my hair straight up, it, it's still wet by the end of the day. Like, and by straight up, I mean like straight up into a, into a uh, pony and then this is what happens. It's wet. All right, so I'm just gonna let this dry out and I will see you next time. Definitely subscribe to this channel if you want to see all this amazingness all the time. And um, click a like if you like a like this whole shindig. And um, I will see you next time. I'm just super tired. So I'll see. Oh, look, I still have a little bit of the pink in there. Wow. Okay. Well, I'll see you next time. Have a great week. Namaste. Bye.